In today's video, we're taking a look at the best AX50 class for SND right now. Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best class out for the AX50 to use in Search and Destroy. I've been using this class recently, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's really fun to run, as long as you've got the sniper and a quick scope, and it's actually a really fun class to run. It's one shot, it's really fun to run. You've also got the SMG to get up close and in the enemy's faces if you are in a situation where you need to start clutching up. So, all round, it's a very, very good class setup. Just quickly before you jump into the class setup, though, guys, if you are new around, be sure to smash that subscribe button with notifications turned on. We're on the road to 2k subs right now, so if you can help us hit that, that'll be absolutely amazing, guys. Also, if you do enjoy the video, and you are going to give the class a try, let me know in the comments below and smash a big thumbs up. Let's try and hit 15 likes on this one if possible, lads. Also, guys, just a quick one. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. UK time over on Twitch TV. Link will be found in the description along with all my other socials. But no more messing about. We're going to jump straight into this class out. So, guys, as you can see on screen right now, this is a full overlook at the entire class. We've got an MP5, we've got an AX50, we've got EOD, Overkill, and Shrapnel, and then C4s and Stun Grenades. Obviously, Shrapnel gives us two C4s when we do load into the game. EOD stops us being exploded by lethal so much, and obviously, Overkill allows us to run both the Sniper and SMG at the same time. I go for C4s as I just enjoy using C4s as you can time the explosion, you can exact, you can know exactly when it's going to go off because you can just double tap X or square whichever console you're playing on or F on keyboard. And also with a stun, I like stuns because it slows the enemy rather than just making their screen white as if they even know where you are and you can just get behind them, they've got no chance of killing you. Whereas if they're stunned, if, well, sorry, if they're flashed and they know where you are, they've still got a good chance of killing you as their movement isn't slowed down or anything like that, it's just a case of their screen going white for a second. So we're now just going to run through the attachment for each of the guns so you guys can see the best attachments for this class setup. So for the MP5, we are running the monolithic suppressor on the muzzle obviously takes off the radar when you are shooting and does slightly increase the damage range which is a bit of a bonus next up we go for the tack laser to increase that mobility with the gun obviously you're playing SMD. if you're using a sniper and an smg the chance are you're using the smg to be in the same rooms as enemies you're using it to push people and try and clutch up a game so you need good mobility which is exactly what the tack laser gives it next up we go for the ftac collapsible again to increase the movement speed and the ads speed obviously you want to be the first one to get them shots off of your smg you're going to be up close and personal you need to be shooting fast and first so you get them for easy kills. Next up, we go for the Merc foregrip, obviously for that recall control and the hip fire accuracy. Hip fire accuracy is pretty key here. Like I say, you're going to be in the same rooms with enemies. Therefore, you're going to need good hip fire accuracy because if you're not going to ADS, you're going to need that good hip fire accuracy so you can actually beam people and get them kills off nice and quickly. So next up, guys, we're going for the 45 round mags, obviously for the more bullets in each magazine, allowing you to kill two or three enemies if you do run into the same room as them. And it just allows you to pick up more kills before having to worry about reloading and you're going to get yourself caught in a situation where you need to reload, but there's still three enemies looking at you. So there's a full overlook at the MP5 class, guys. I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same one that I do run in Warzone. It's just that good. It is just really good for being up close and personal with any enemies. Whether it's Search, Warzone, Domination, Kill Confirmed, whatever it might be, this is the best MP5 class out to be up close and personal with enemies. Now we're going to jump into the AX50 class, which is what you guys are all here for. So if you did watch my previous AX50 class, you think it's going to be pretty similar to the quick scoping class, as obviously when you're playing S&D, you want to be able to aim down sight quickly, and you just want to be able to get them first shots, first shots off with a sniper. And if you are good at quick scoping, you can just run in and get a bat with your sniper, which is what I like to do. I like to just run around and see how many kills I can pick up with a sniper, and not take life too seriously when playing Search. So for the first attachment on the barrel, we're going for the 17 inch factory barrel, which will increase the ADS speed and the movement speed. Like I say, I like to run about with the sniper and just get up close and personal with the sniper instead of the SMG. I just like to have a bit of fun with it and just take life a bit more fun and just, just have a good time with the boys when playing search. So I like to be up close and personal, quick scoping my X50. It also makes this really good for the first bit of each round where you are just aiming down sight across the map and looking at the other snipers on the enemy team. Next up, we go for the tack laser to increase the ADS speed, aim walking stability, and the aim walking steadiness. Again, ADS speed obviously allows you to quick scope better, and it also just makes sure you can ADS pretty quickly. So, like I say, them first shots at the start of the round where the sniper's looking into enemy spawns and your spawn, you're just gonna be able to get them first shots off because you'll be the first one ADS in. Therefore, when while they're still aiming in, you'll be able to get easy headshots or long shots, whatever it is that you need to get for. So while they're still aiming in, you're already going to be ADS, so you will literally pick up nice easy kills on the players just standing still at the back of the map. Next up for the stock is Singard Arms Assassin, and again, it's ADS speed. As I've explained before, I like to be up close personal, quick scoping, easy shots at the start of each round, blah, 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 blah. So stipple grip tape is aimed down sight speed, but it's also sprint to fire speed as well because that then allows you to ADS even faster from sprinting. Obviously, the sprint to fire also allows you to hit no scopes if you're up close and personal. If you just run into someone, you're literally barrel poking them. You can get a nice quick no scope off and pick up a kill. 
or it's going to also allow you to be able to stop running and just ADS and shoot faster than what you would be able to if you were just sprinting. So that, otherwise, you've just got to sprint. You then got to stop, compose yourself, aim in, and then a shoot. Whereas you can literally just sprint and shoot with this gun. So, so this attachment is actually pretty good just to allow you to get them no scopes when you are up close and personal with a gun. However, guys, the one attachment that you will notice the difference on with the SMD class as opposed to the quick scope class is instead of sleight of hand, I like to run FMJ as it allows you, if you do see an enemy run behind a bit of cover or they're defusing a bomb or something, there's a good chance you are going to be able to wall bang them from whichever bit of cover they're in or the bomb or whatever it might be. You can be able to get a nice wall bang off if you can on the shot up properly and it just gives you a bit of an advantage in certain situations. So there is a full overlook at the AX50 class, guys. Hopefully you do like this class and you are going to give it a go. Like I said, if you are, let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested to see how many of you guys actually enjoy running it. I find it a lot of fun. It's really good fun when you're just chilling out, you're playing a bit of search. You just want to have a bit of fun, not take it too seriously. Whereas if you take it too seriously, you want to use an AR and an SMG. You just want to get kills and win every single round. But this is a lot more fun. I like to just run around with a quick scope and sniper and an SMG if I get myself caught in too many situations where I'm up close. So yeah, guys, like I say, that is the full class setup once again, just so you guys can see. I'll just show you both the attachments on the guns once again, and you can pause at any time necessary. But yeah, guys, like I say, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button on the road to 2K subs right now. Also, smash a big thumbs up as it really does help me out, guys. And let me know in the comments below if you can use this class. But this can be the end of the video guys and I appreciate you watching the way to the end and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.